Private clubs aren't for everyone, but inside the Detroit club, there's a little something for just about everyone. It is among a group of the nation's oldest private clubs, so there's plenty of history, cool architecture, and recent renovations adding modern amenities. The four-story building has stood at the corner of Cass Avenue and Fort Street in downtown Detroit since 1892. For most of its 129 years, the doors opened only to members of the Detroit Club and their guests. It's remarkable. They don't make it like this anymore. I <laughs> certainly do not. I mean, that fireplace is just... Something else, isn't it? Wow. Lynn Urali still marvels at the hand-carved woodwork on the huge fireplace, a striking feature of the main dining room. You feel special to be in the room, but it's also warm and inviting. And Urali is now extending an invitation to those like me who had never set foot inside the building. And there's plenty to see. Most rooms in the 40,000 square foot clubhouse got a refresh or total makeover. Thank you for calling yourself to that. The basement was turned into a fitness and wellness center with massage rooms and an incredible saltwater jacuzzi. 11 hotel suites are a feature of the second floor, each uniquely furnished and available to guests. The fourth floor has 10 larger estate suites. It couldn't be run of the mill. It had to be spectacular. So every room stands on its own. They all have king estate beds, grand furniture, beautiful linens. A cigar bar on the third floor is very popular with members, according to your rally. The wine cellar was also added during the multi-million dollar renovation. In the 1950s, the club had a thousand members, including many of the city's business and political elite. Lynn and her team have had to build membership back from zero. There are now 136 dues-paying members, and she expects the number to keep growing. Opening the club to the public should help. Longtime people that have lived in Detroit their entire lives just don't know. They don't know what they don't know. <laughs> And now they have an opportunity. And now they have the opportunity to come in and enjoy this amazing space. For many, dinner at Bohemia, the club's 64-seat restaurant, may serve as an entree into the club. Chef Bobby Rosenberger is currently cooking up a new menu. Chef Bobby does a wonderful job curating. Uh, I guess today he made for you a uh, lacquered lamb, which is going to be on his fall menu. He just does everything from scratch, and he just comes up with a d brilliant twist. So, great place for a special occasion or any occasion here. That's the idea. We want our members and our guests to feel super comfortable. And one could get very comfortable, right? And again, while it may not be for everyone, based on what I saw, if you've never been inside and decide to check it out, I can't see how you won't be impressed. Wow, certainly, certainly was. beautiful, amazing, right? Mm -hmm. All that architecture. Dave says he's taking us, Carolyn, for yeah. dinner. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs>